Last week I did a short video clip on a new controversial book about Padre Pio. You may remember that I had seen an article in the Daily Mail and of which I was saying that I hadn't read the book yet but I'd read one of the reviews of which it was very critical of this uh, saint of the Roman Catholic Church. I don't think he's a saint yet, but he's been fast-tracked to become a saint. In which they said that the wounds on his hands were self-inflicted with uh, carbolic put in there. Uh, dear sister picked up uh, something about this last week which she told me that Jesus, as far as she's concerned, had been crucified through the wrists and not the hands. So should the stigmata, she said, be on the wrists and not the hands. So I thought it was quite a good point. But I did mention in there that the article was in the Daily Mail. Well, we've had a few emails come back saying that we're anti-Catholic, we're anti-Padre Pio, and not to believe everything I read. And I understand that because, obviously, you can't believe everything you read in the paper. Uh, I know the Daily Mail is slightly biased, so whether they made up this book, and it wasn't really a book at all, is anti-Catholic church, I don't know. However, this week, I picked up this little story again, and this, can you see, that I hold that up, it says, Padre Pio's Mercedes to be auctioned. Now the interesting thing is, this has not come from the Daily Mail, it hasn't come from the New York Herald Tribune, of which I saw another mention in the book, it comes from The Universe, Britain and Ireland's best-selling Catholic newspaper. Now it came out last week, and I don't have the date, but you'll see here on the bottom here that Archbishop Sean Brady has been made a cardinal, so it's very, very up to date. And this more or less says the same thing was in the Daily Mail. So whether the universe is anti the Catholic Church or not, I don't know. But I think this justifies the fact that we are not liars at this ministry. We don't make up these stories to be anti-Catholic. And what this says here, that a 1959 Mercedes-Benz, owned and driven by blessed Padre Piers, to be sold at an international car auction. Now, I find it very interesting that this Mercedes-Benz is owned and driven by him. First of all, I thought he took a vow of uh, poverty, so it's very interesting he was able to afford driving lessons, which I hope he had, and also he was able to afford to a Mercedes-Benz. And most of the monks that I knew at the time, if they did pass their driving test, they'd learnt to drive before they became a monk, and they certainly didn't drive Mercedes-Benz. I seem to remember Car uh, Padre Pio, that he became, he went to the monastery as a very, very young man. So I thought that was very interesting now, that it's up for sale. The other interesting thing is, at the bottom here it says, in the past, a car which was blessed by Padre Pio was sold on eBay for 900,000 euros. Wow! Now what do you think of that? That is absolutely amazing. A car supposedly blessed by Padre Pio. I suppose he wrote something out or the owner has documentation. So here we have this very interesting story of a monk, a Capuchin monk who's taken a vow of poverty, is driving a Mercedes Benz. Uh, what it's going to go for, I have no idea. Uh, but um, one more story on the Padre Pio. And as I say, it comes from a Catholic newspaper. It did not come from the Daily Mail. It didn't come from any other newspaper. I thought you'd find that interesting. Let me know what you think about this story. I think it's rather disgusting that this car goes on eBay and it's going for 900000 But where's this money going to? Go into a charity or not? That's all I want to say on this for the time being. What do you think about this? Until then, thank you, and Maranatha.